Good morning, guys. We are in our uh, van headed to Mashpee Lodge for our two day stay over there. Um, supposed to be lots of adventures outdoors in the jungle. It's a three hour ride from Quito, three hour or so. So uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. Mashpee Lodge. It's our first moment in. We got a little towel to wipe our hands. Stay fresh. We are literally in the jungle. So this is sweet potatoes, chips, and popcorn, and then we have ají, tomate de árbol ají. It's a tomato ají? Uh, uh, three tomato ají. We got some taxo, which is, let me give it a try first. So citrusy, a little sour. Um, I would describe it as like a lemonade mixed with a pa passion fruit, like light passion fruit. Not melon. not not very sweet, melon like. Really good, really refreshing. So now we have the consomme de pollo, which is. A chicken soup but the difference is this is going to be a lighter thinner soup not like the potato soup that we had the other day and let's see has got ceviche what kind of ceviche is it ah uh, that's a good question i think it's fish ceviche fish ceviche give it a try it has mushrooms, mushrooms. Mm. really good sour Super sour, but it has a lot of different things. It has um, sweet corn, chochos, lupini beans. It has uh, avocados, mushrooms. I think it's mushrooms. It's really good. All right, so we've got potato uh, pork, stuffed in a, what looks like a pepper, and some sort of mashed potato or mashed. Uh, Looks beautiful. Let me give it a try for you guys. So we're gonna grab a bite. Oh wow, it's sweet, kind of like a barbecue. There's lots of shrimp with high. But I feel bad. I can't eat the fish. What's at the bottom? It has a risotto. Yeah. Give it a try. Good. Yeah, me. What do we got here? That's borojo pudding. Uh, borojo is like, I would say like melon. It's a light melon. It's really good. It's sour. It's not as uh, sweet as melon. And what I have over here is going to be a chocolate cake with uh, borojo ice cream. Ice cream. What's this? What's that ice cream? What's special about it? Um, normally you don't do borojo ice cream, so I guess they are using all the ingredients they have over here. And there is golden berries again. We eat a lot of golden berries, and I guess you have some too. A man on top. Awesome. Expedition 
begins. Got a walking stick and some mud boots. You see a flower that is resembling a hummingbird. You can see the beak right there. Yellow flowers are for bees. And here it's another thing. Very small. And it's a caterpillar. And this is the reason we say don't touch everything because. Sometimes you can see the top, but not what is underneath, uh -huh. well, not the bottom. So then it's a very little caterpillar. And these red flowers, they belong to the African violet family. They are very common in this area. The stairs are built with Coca-Cola plastic carrying crates. Fun fact that if you get trapped in a rainforest 99.9% .9 of the things here you can't eat. Um, so survival is actually harder in a rainforest than in a plain or some of the other natural areas. So don't get trapped and if you do, follow the river down. So the Grumelia plant that Yellow. Point at it. That plant right there, the only edible version of it is our pineapples. They're of the same family. Cheers. We like pineapples. Well, oh, hey, are you getting ready? Huh? What are you going to do, huh? I'm about to go swimming. There's no way to swim, though. Now we are at the river. After my little swim under the waterfall, now we're headed to what they call the jacuzzi. used to be the Pacific Ocean and where the mountains met in tectonic plates that's where the Andes Mountains built in Ecuador but this side would have been underwater thousands maybe millions of years ago but yeah that's kind of where and you will see rocks and uh, sediment and things that would signify the Pacific Ocean but millipedes, they dust. Oh, centipedes, sorry. Centipedes, they dust. Because they are carnivores. Okay. They can inject venom. Oh, okay. Yes or no? No, no. Okay. Yeah, this is a millipede, and the one, the carnivore one, is a centipede. Mm. Thousand legs and hundred legs. This is thousand legs. <laughs> but they do not have thousand. It's just the name to identify them. <laughs> you never touch centipedes because they have chelicerous. The fangs to inject venom. Um, Which is what? Uh, like a, a this border. is the tail and this is the head. Mm -hmm. Oh, this? But it's a centipede. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a millipede.
I've been waiting for since I got to Mashpee is my lamb dish, lamb with the bone, um, and with some uh, mushrooms and roasted veggies, and it has a chimichurri sauce on the lamb itself. And then Leslie's dish? Uh, this is seco de pollo, chicken stew, with some yellow rice, and then it has uh, bananas, fried bananas. How is it? It's good. Nice, it looks cool. Fish shape. And also when they are trying to mate, they don't have internal copulation. Once the females are ready, or start releasing the eggs, the males fertilize them outside as fish. No, okay. The female lay the eggs and then the male fertilize. This one is called the Cloud Forest Snail Eater. They feed on a snail. So you can put your finger into her, close to her mouth, and it's not gonna open the mouth to bite you. When they see so, or find something to eat, they suck it up. Oh wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where they feed on the snails. And they're non-venomous? Exactly.